All right, I'm getting kind of a late start today. Uh, this would be a one day project if, you know, if I got started this morning instead of at five o'clock in the evening. Uh, so I don't have a whole lot of time before the sun goes down, but I'm gonna get as much of it done today as I can. I kind of like having all my guns in a gun rack on the wall so I can display them. But I've also got a lot of nieces and nephews and my girlfriend's got a lot of nieces and nephews. And it's just not safe to have kids come over with guns all over the place. So I'm building myself a gun storage locker that's going to have a lock and I'll have a key for it. And uh, I mean this thing, it's going to look very crude and rough. It's not going to be very pretty, but it's going to be cheap. And it's not going to uh, stop anybody from breaking into the house and stealing my stuff. They'll probably be able to steal the whole thing with all the guns inside of it, actually. But uh, that's I'm not building it to keep people from stealing stuff. I'm building it to keep the kids out of stuff. And that's exactly what this is going to do. So uh, right now, with all the wood and everything, I've, like, I've worked out the design in my head. And uh, I'm into it for about 120 bucks so far. I mean, I could have gone and bought a gun safe for probably about the same price. But I wanted to do this. Uh, the most expensive part was actually the, just getting the screws. I got two sizes of screws, two and a half inch and one and a quarter. Uh, I got the some hinges in there and a, a cabinet and drawer lock, which this is going to be a cabinet basically. Storage locker, cabinet, gun cabinet. So that's what I got to lock it with. And uh, yeah. Uh, and the design I worked out, I was going to build the frame and I was trying to work out a way to buy everything like the cheapest way so I didn't have to buy extra plywood or extra 2 by 4s to squeeze everything in there. And uh, so I worked out everything where I would need one, one sheet of plywood, well one sheet of plywood and then a quarter sheet of plywood and then three 2 by 4s uh, And actually I saved a little bit of money because I didn't need the full quarter sheet. I actually found some wood here that I'm gonna be able to use. So, uh, yeah, and then when I got to Lowe's, they actually already had all the plywood sheets that I needed cut into the sizes I needed. So that's gonna save me even more time. Only thing I really need to cut is the two by fours. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, uh, this is not gonna be a very pretty cabinet and it's not really gonna take any actual woodworking skills to build it. So what I need, these two 2x4s two are going to be the outer corners of the frame. They're 10 feet long each. Well, 2x4x10, by by which is actually a little bit longer than 10. I was expecting it to be a little shorter. They're never the exact dimensions. 2x4s are actually more like 1.5x3.5. Uh, this is almost 10 and a half. Yeah, it's actually 10 and a half, so... So that would be five and a quarter would be the center, which that's what I need to mark. Five and a quarter. And you know what, if they're not exact, I can just sand them or cut them to make them, make them all the exact same size. I got, I cut those two two by fours, they were 10 feet long, I cut them in half, so I should have four that are five feet long. And those are gonna have, be the outer corners of the frame, and then they're gonna stick down about a foot and be the legs, that way it can be standing upright. And what else do I need to do now? Uh, the third two by four, I'm just gonna cut it as I need it. Uh, Cause I'm gonna need them for like the cross pieces between the outer, the corners of the frame. And yeah, I mean, I guess I can start assembly already. Basically, I'm going to build two like this and then connect it with cross pieces and cover the other two panels.
work. It's held together and shaped pretty nicely here. There's one thing I'm forgetting about that I need to do on the next one, on the next panel, not on this panel. I'm putting the panels on these 2x4s, but on the next one, uh, before I screw the panel down, I've actually got to install the door hinges on the 2x4 underneath the panel. That way they're hidden, they're recessed, and nobody can just take them off with a screwdriver or something. Even though you can do that with this, technically, but, you know. Recessing the screws and everything so I can do the sanding and the finish after I assemble it. I'm going to take some more 2x4s and put them across one at the bottom here, one at the top that give it more stability, more strength. And I'm also going to use that, uh, the ones on the bottom, I'm going to cut out the base shelf of it to fit in there and on top of this. That way, this is what's holding up the weight of the guns and not the, the uh, thin little plywood. That's how you know you're building it well is when you don't even need to put screws in it and it holds itself together. So let's do this. do these holes at an angle. Normally you'd use a jig to do that, but I'm, I'm just doing it freehand. So I can run these screws in there and they can be flush without the top half sticking up out of it. either not the right size or it's stripping out. Go find one. That works a lot better. There we go. This panel's done. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, on the next one I'm going to get the hinges installed. I'm do pretty much the exact same thing, but with this one I'm going to add an extra step for the hinges. Because I don't want the hinges to be exposed, I want them to be hidden. So where do I want the hinges to go? And like I said, I'm just eyeballing everything. Pretty much. It doesn't need to be so high up actually, but uh, we'll see. I'm just going to evenly space them out. It's not going to be exact. Make sure they're all facing the same direction. By that I mean, you know, the, the spine of the hinge is on the same side for each one. See how it's, it's flat like that, or it's sticking out on this end. So I need to make sure it's sticking out upwards. Mm, that looks pretty good. So this. Now I am realizing now that this is much thicker than the panel of wood that's going to be the door, so I'm going to have to use different screws to attach the door to it.
All right, there we go, the hinges are installed. All right, I'm at this point in the assembly. I am attaching this cross beam here, which is a little bit longer than this one. This one's 17 inches, this one's 21 inches. That's because the two by fours are turned sideways over here and not uh, width wise. So I'm at this point, I've already got it attached on that side, but uh, it's a little loose. So what I'm gonna do is attach the, the roof panel to give it a little bit more stability where I can tighten these down some. So. Uh, yeah, and then I'll attach the other side and I'll almost be done. All right, so that's the roof. I'm gonna assemble the side, I'm gonna put the side panel, attach that, and then I guess it's already getting dark, so tomorrow I'll build the bottom, the base shelf, and then the shelf across the top, and then the, uh, the barrel shelf. So, yeah. This up here would be where the door is gonna be. This would be the back side that's the side, it's got the hinges already installed. The other side is going to come across here and it'll open basically like a, a locker, like in school or something, but it's wooden. All right, I decided to just go ahead and bring it inside and finish assembling it in here. It's just about done. I just need the door and the back panel and it'll be done. I do need to add a couple of screws to the bottom braces there, reinforce them some, but it's almost done. All right, I'm just gonna attach the back panel here. Let me get some screws first. I totally forgot to record me screwing, putting the door on, but I mean, you just attach the hinges. It's pretty simple. So. I'll sweep that up later. Let's uh, let's not mention me cutting holes in wood in the house to Jasmine. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's gonna stick out a little bit too much, but that'll work out. All right, now I marked out right here where the uh, the lock is going to be slipping into place and I'm drilling holes in it about half an inch deep and then I'm just going to come in and clean them up clear all that wood out of there I just put the floor in. I was going to cut out the corner there so it would sit down around the 2x4 and be a flat floor but I don't have enough of these scrap pieces to cover it anyway so I just left it sticking up like that. The guns aren't going to go that far in the back anyway. They're going to be up to the front leaning backwards and now I'm going to put a shelf across the middle right there where that line's at and uh, that is actually just going to be a 1x4 or maybe even like a half inch thick and I'm just gonna screw it flat against the the two by fours frames there and uh, cut notches in it to hold the barrels of the rifles and then from there I'm gonna mount 
something to put the pistols in. Maybe another shelf. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna have enough room for another shelf. So we'll see. All right, you can you can see I cut one of the notches already. This piece is uh the exact same. I think it's two feet exactly, so it fits between the the panels wall the panel walls perfectly. So I've already cut one of the notches notches. I'm gonna do another one there, so on and so on. Four every four inches, and it it spaces out perfectly to have five guns in there, five rifles, long guns anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. It's a little too dark to set up the camera to record any of that, but. I'll pick up when I get back to it. Alright, got all the notches cut in it, sanded it smooth. It's you know, right there. I'm gonna level it out, screw it into place. And technically this cabinet would be complete, but I'm gonna add a couple more things. My level won't even fit in here, so I'm gonna have to eyeball it. All right, it is usable as it is. I would say it's complete, but I do want to add something to hold handguns, which this doesn't quite have at the moment. So I added this board here at the base for the stocks to rest on. And yeah, so that way they're gonna go, they're not gonna go anywhere. It's done. Maybe not 100% complete, but I can start using it now. Put my flashlight in here, so you can still light it up. Let's see, added a shelf here. And there's just enough clearance for the shorter rifles, not quite enough for the longer ones or the shotguns. But the shorter rifles fit pretty well. So. And I added the shelf. It's not very straight, but it's sturdy. And that's what it's for. Right there. The only problem is I have four handguns I need to put up there. Not quite enough room for all of them. But, it's a start. Alright. Uh, did a couple of things off camera here. I put these three inch blocks over the exposed screws on the hinges and then that way the screws aren't don't stab anybody that's trying to walk by already using it here and I installed a drawer down here but it doesn't lock but it's yeah there we go it's got my ammo and other stuff that I range box and stuff in it uh, I'm thinking about uh, adding a front panel to the drawer so it's flush with the edges and not in there because it's kind of exposing the the slides and stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. Um, I actually didn't spend any money to build that drawer. Uh, my friend, everybody knows Drew from the channel, uh, Heart of Fishing. He was actually throwing away like an old dresser or entertainment center. I don't know what it was, but it was in pieces. And I took the drawer slides and handle and stuff off that and used some of the scrap wood from that and built a drawer. Fit it into place here. And uh, yeah, it's good to go. Uh, I'm going to probably make a front panel for that so it looks a little nicer. But yeah, it's done. So... Thanks for watching, see you next time.